Yeah, I learned the game with William Wesley. You can never check me. Back to back to hey guys, what's up? It's a new day. So videos, so let's get let me just give you a little backstory. So um, I love YouTube so much and I love the idea of making videos and just everything about it and just, you know, showing my creativity, creativity, that's what I do, that's what I'm about. There's so much that I want to do video-wise, there's so much I just want to do and create. I had put some of my money aside to start saving up for a laptop and a camera. A bunch of stuff happened so I didn't end up using that money toward anything. Kind of just, you know, eventually I'll get it maybe during Christmas or something like that, but it's not, probably not going to be anytime soon. Recently I had been checking on like trader sites to see if there was anybody, you know, selling MacBooks that was at a reasonable price or somebody who would be willing to negotiate as of now it's August 30th 2018 and on Sunday I found a seller that was gonna be selling a MacBook Pro 15 and oh with the touch bar I was like okay well this lady's selling it for two thousand dollars and I don't have two thousand dollars so let's see if she's willing to negotiate so I message her and I'm telling her like hey can you maybe do eight hundred dollars and she's like yeah I can do that and I was like, well, I don't have the money right now. And I understand that I should probably have the money before I message somebody. But I was like, you know, I'm just seeing how long they're willing to hold. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's worth asking, I guess. She was like, yes, I can do that. But I can't do it off of this app. And it makes sense because it takes a percentage of the money that you're giving to them. So she's like, just here, message me through this. And so I messaged her text message. And I was like, well, I don't have 800 right now. So are you willing to maybe hold it until I get the money? And she said, well, I'm trying to make a sale. So if by tomorrow you maybe have $400, you can make a down payment on that. And I was like, okay. So I had asked my dad, I was like, hey, can we maybe go to the bank and get $400 out? Because I also had a check of $100. So we got out then that $400 plus that check and we had that cash in and then I had $500. I mean, $500 is a good down payment. I'm closer to getting that MacBook. Either way, I'm going to be giving her that money anyway. So I'm like, we might as well just get it out of the way. So we get that $500 and I text her and I'm like, hey, I have the money. I can just mail you the cash. And she says, no. Like she just said, no, you can't do that. I won't take that. I was like, so that was the first sign. I was like, hmm. So I was like, okay. And then I was like, well, how can I send you the money? And she says, do you have Google Wallet or something like that? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And I was like, no, I don't have that. And she says, well, you can do it through PayPal. And I don't really know how to use PayPal. So I make a PayPal really quick. And then she goes, so you have to just go to a store and buy a PayPal MasterCard. And I take my penny jar and I was like, well, I'm going to have to use $5 or however much this card is to buy this card and use it, you know? So I take that and I put the money in the change thing and it was all pennies. It said on the top $30 of how many counted coins there was. It said it would be $30. It came out to $11. I mean, it's money, it's money, but that was not no $30. I called the store to ask if they had the card and what I should do. And I kind of gave him the rundown of what was going on. And he was like, yeah, it's up to you. I can help you set it up once you get here, if you go and you end up getting the car. So I'm like, okay. So this worker ended up being on break. So I just waited. I had time to spend. I'm just, this whole time, I'm just so excited to get this computer. I waited so long. I have so many great ideas and this computer is just going to make them all happen. I'm gonna make them happy so I'm still waiting around and then I see two of my friends come into the store and I haven't seen them in a while so I get up when I see my friends or just people who I know I get really excited and I forget about everything so I walk over to them and I'm just you know like hey what's up and so I give them the rundown I'm like oh man like I hope it works out I'm like yeah me too and this whole time we're kind of like it could be a scam who knows not us not yet we'll find out soon and so they go in the store and they're like yeah I'm getting s'mores so We'll probably see it before you leave. And I was like, okay. So then the guy gets off his break and then he helps me set up an account. But the thing is, PayPal, you have to be 18 and I'm not 18. And I go back to realize this whole time I didn't even bring my little coin counter with me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody just stole my coin counter with my leftover money from buying the car. And I was like, are you kidding me? I love that coin. I go to the front desk. I said, did anybody bring up a pink coin counter? They said no. And then I start to leave. And then my friend who was working at the counter, they say, Sear, is this yours? I turn over and it's my pink coin counter with the money still in it and my receipts. So I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And so I leave. So I was like, you know what? This is just going to be her money. I'm just going to send her the front and the back of the car so she could call and set it up for herself because either way, I'm sending her the money. And she goes, what's the PIN number? And I go, well, you just have to make it up. When you call them, you get to set it up because it's your car. It'll be your money. And so she goes, okay. And so she's like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to buy something because there's no way I can transfer the money to my PayPal. And I'm like, okay. And she says, well, I'm going to send, send the laptop first thing in the morning. And then when you get the 300 to make 800, just tell me. And I go, okay. And also we spoke on the phone because I was just wondering, you know, hopefully this is real. And at first she wasn't answering, but then she goes, well, I'm at work. 
hold on, my break is soon and I'll call you. So she called me, we talked, and I told her everything that was going on. She said she had been scammed before and she wants to make sure that she gets her money and that I get my laptop and all this, just that everything works out. And on the phone she sounded so, and I know, I just see the best in everyone and I try to see the best in everyone and you're supposed to, but at the same time you need to think and I don't know if I was thinking or if that was real or not, I don't know. So everything sounded good. So then she says, I'll send in the morning. And I was this whole time just stressing out all day because I'm like, is this better be real? I just took $500 out and just all of that. So I wake up, you know, I go to school because I have school the next morning. She goes, hello. And this is 10.30 a.m. I'm in government class trying to do my work. Having a good day because I think my laptop is coming later, you know. She goes, hello, is there any way you can send the remaining balance of 300 Because my husband said I should have never accepted the 500 since I had already given you a great deal. And I understand that she would want her whole 800 but we had talked everything on the phone and everything sounded clear and she was fine with it. And I said, well, I don't have the 300 because I have 300 coming my way later this month. And I go, I told you I don't have the 300 yet. I would be getting it as soon as I could and you should just trust me even though I don't have it. They and myself would rather have the laptop before we send the remaining 300. She goes, yes, I'm sorry, I just can't. I should have been waiting on you and I just can't send you a $3,000 MacBook for $500. I'm sorry, please make the other half of the payment. I just emailed. When I talked to you on the phone, you said that it would work fine. I'm literally in class right now and I don't need to be stressing over this. I'll send you the money but my parents rather get the laptop first. She goes, I'm sorry, but I can't until I receive the rest of the payment. And I told my dad the whole rundown of what had happened. And so my dad wanted to talk to her. But every time I tried to call her on the phone, she would never answer. Sketch, I know. Sketch, I know. But maybe she was at work. Maybe she was busy. There's that too. I don't know. So my dad was getting upset and he wanted to talk to her on the phone, which makes sense. So I go, can you talk on the phone with my dad? She goes, hun, there is nothing to discuss. You can take your money back or make the rest of the payment. I will not let a $3,000 MacBook go for $500. Sorry. I go, I'm not trying to get it for $500. I'm going to pay. And we're just dealing with the unknown. So will you just talk to him? He wants to talk to you. She goes, no. I go, okay, well, how could I take my $500 back if it's activated and it's under your security number? She goes, just use it. You have the card. And I was saying to myself, okay, yeah, that's true. I have the card. So that'll be fine. It's activated. But then I forgot a key element went to that. But I'll tell you that in a second. So my dad's like, you know, he's over it. We're all over it at this point. <clears throat> so he takes me to Best Buy. And he wants to see what this MacBook even looks like. I told him everything about it, how I'm taking graphic design, how I'm doing more with my YouTube channel, how I'm doing animation, all this stuff that is going to be helping me in my life. You know what I'm saying? He, oh, he already knows how much I've been wanting this computer and how much I've been trying to get this computer. So like, let's just go see it and all that. So we get to Best Buy. A lady helps us. Super nice. Her name's Amber. Shout out Amber. I know you're watching this. Homegirl from the start. So I brought the card with me as well. So we go to buy like a piece of candy to see if it would work. It declines. So then she tries another way and it still declines. Then the next time she tries it one more time, it declines. So I'm like, oh boy, she took our $500. She said we could have it back. It's not there. But she says, we need a pin number. Do you know the pin number? I don't know the pin number. She made it up. So I text her again. I go, do you know what the pin is? No response. Because I need to know the pin to use the card. No response. I'm sorry to bother you. I just need to know. No response. Question mark. No response. Please don't use the card. I just need the pin. No response. So are you not gonna give me the pen for the money back? No response. <sighs> so I try to call her once again, she doesn't respond. It's, it's even more annoying because every other time she thought she was getting her money, so she was responding back like this. But now when I ask her for the pen, she can't respond at all because she used the card, I bet. Or she just isn't messing with me. She's like, you know, sorry. I'm keeping that 500 and that's what she did because I, I have not heard from her and it has been three days what? um so <laughs> still at Best Buy and we're all Solly I'm pretty sure Amber Solly with us too even though it's not even her money she lost she's she's just feeling the moods we're like family now me and Amber you know Amber we're family I just want you to know we were gonna put that $500 on layaway but apparently they don't do layaway there 
my dad goes, well, we have a Best Buy card. And I didn't know he was going to even say this. And I didn't even know he had one. And he goes, there's probably enough on there. It's like, you know what? I'm just over it. We're just going to go ahead and get the laptop. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't know how to feel. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to go pick up my wife. We'll come back. And me and Amber were just looking at some stuff. And then they come back. And so they, like, got the laptop. Like, they, they, like, got it, but we have to pay it off, though. Like, I'm so happy that I have it, but, like, at the same time, I'm like, dang. We we still have to pay all that money, and that's the main reason why I wanted to just get a cheaper one, because, like, I didn't want to have to make them pay that much. Ugh, that sucks, because, like, I love trades, I love thrifting, all that stuff. I'm all about saving money, but at the same time, I like to spend money, too. Like, it, it, it works both ways, you know what I'm saying? Like, save it up to do some damage, but still have some leftover, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna end up paying that off and literally going to Best Buy. That's the last thing that I thought we were going there to do. I thought we were just gonna do a layaway and if it didn't have layaway then, well, we're gonna go pick up my mom and that's gonna be the end of our day, probably get something to eat. Still no response from the girl. I'm not gonna say her name. I don't even wanna say her name. I'm not bitter though. I don't, I'm not putting nothing toward her. It's just not right what she did. Um, but at the same time, we don't know if I would have sent her that $300 if she would have gave us the laptop, you know what I mean? And we don't know if, if I did end up sending her the $300, if she would have kept asking for more. Who knows? We don't know. So we drive home with the laptop. I'm going to be doing an unboxing after I tell you the end of the story. And so you can feel this moment with me as well. As you're feeling this pain with me, hopefully you are and you're not laughing at my face. I mean, I'm laughing at myself because that's so awful and I'm so mad at myself though at the same time but at the same time I have to be happy because I have the laptop but like it just sucks at the same time that we lost money so we're driving home I have my laptop right here and I have us both buckled in so we get home the next day I get home from school my dad picked me up so then he said Sierra I forgive you like I'm not mad at you we just all messed up I believe that the lady was actually gonna do it for us and like the same things happened to him ago when he was a kid and he saw me knowing how much I wanted something and could do so much with it and that uh, he said you know what because he loves me so much and same with my mom that they went ahead and got the laptop for me and that I just I'm so thankful that I got that laptop and that they did that for me out of all the craziness that happened and that I lost that $500 like uh and like, thank you, and I'm just glad that they're not mad. The whole day I was thinking about it, mom, my dad, and I are Christian. If you are new to the channel or if you've been on the channel, you already know that I'm not ever trying to be negative and all that. And I mean, it happens once in a while, but like, I need to just stay positive and, you know, forgive and forget. And I know it's going to be hard to forget that I lost $500. But the whole day I was thinking about texting her, I forgive you. And when I got in the car, my dad said the same thing to text her and do the same thing. So I texted her. I go, I just want you to know that my family and I forgive you for what you've done and we will pray for you and hope that you will come to know Christ. So I just left it at that, didn't text her again, but then accidentally I called her on the way home. So I'm like, ah, she probably thinks I'm still trying to get a hold of her. It went through, so it's not blocked. So hopefully she saw that. She most likely saw that. Um, who knows? She'll probably keep doing what she's doing if it was a scam. Who knows? We don't know because I never sent her that $300 if I was actually going to get that laptop. But we're just going to go ahead and say it was. We got over it. Also, I want you guys to follow Amber. I'm going to put that at the very end. And you can follow her Instagram and stuff. Just so helpful and so nice. And so go ahead and follow her and show her some love. She had also told me that the same, the same thing had happened to her with PayPal a long time ago when she was trying to get some homecoming shoes. So she said that she was able to get her money back. So later that night when we got home from Best Buy... I called PayPal and I asked if there was any way we could do a refund. And they said, well, um, there's only one way and you have to buy another 500 Google Plays card. And then we will send the 500 to your bank that you just purchased and then the 500 from your MasterCard back into your bank. I'm thinking to myself, there is no way me and my family have $500 just to send because we still have to pay the bills, you know, get food, all this. There's no way we can just drop another 500 like that. And he goes, well, sorry, there's no other way. I'm like, okay, well, thank you anyway. So we hang up. I've been thinking about it, and everyone had told me, you know, Sierra, just try one more time. Plus, I told Amber, and she said, you know, that's not at all how it happened with me. So just try one more time. So I did, and I called PayPal back. So a different guy answered, and he told me, well, you have to go get a Google Play card for $100, and then you'll give us the code. And then you'll be able to get that $600 from that $100 that you just spent and the $500 that you lost and we'll put it into your bank. 
So me and my parents get back from our long day of school and work, and me and my mom go to go get a hundred dollars in that Google's Play card. On the phone with him, I tell him the code and all that. He says, "Okay, well, where'd you get it from?" And I told him where I got it from. He said, "Well, that's not one of the valid places." And I'm thinking to myself, well, why wouldn't you have told me the places that are valid? So he goes, well, you can either get them from go to Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Walmart. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So he goes, you have to go get another $100 card from one of those places. So I'm thinking to myself, well, when I looked at the PayPal list, there was a place that I did go not on any of the lists. So I was like, okay, that, that sounds legit. Okay. So we go to one of those places, get another $100 card give him the numbers he goes okay ma'am so you're gonna be getting there's a bug okay sorry so you're gonna be getting the five hundred dollars that you lost the two hundred dollars that you just spent and then since we've messed up another hundred dollars you're gonna get eight hundred dollars back into your bank so i'm like okay but then he goes well you're gonna have to go back to the store and buy two hundred dollars more of a google's play card and i'm thinking to myself what do you mean i have to go back and buy another card he goes well we have ports and they can only send a thousand dollars to your account um, and she says no we're not doing that and he goes well that's the only way that it, you'll get your money back and he just kept going well it's the only way it's the only way it's the only way it's the only way and just kept saying all of that stuff and then he goes i'm gonna lose my job if you guys cancel and all this stuff and i don't know if that's real or if he was just saying that for us to go buy that 200 hundred dollar card i don't know we will never know in total i have now lost 700 dollars of my money and my parents money that we have saved up parents both are really aggravated i'm super aggravated um at this guy we who knows if it's real it just it doesn't even sound real all my friends who i told it to they said yeah i wouldn't even go on, on with it at all like that doesn't even sound right because if it's some big organization and i don't know if this has happened to you guys and if it actually worked if you actually had to pay that much let me know in the comments below if it's happened to you and tell me your story you know we just got to talk about this because i just need to know my parents would want to know too when i called the guy the second time he literally only told us 100 he never told me that we would have to pay another little balance in the middle all this stuff and he kept calling me back and i'm like sorry sir there's no way that my parents are going to say yes and he goes well it's my job please it's up to you now you have to, have to convey them you have to convince them that it's what to do and i'm like well i'm sorry i can't do that they're not going to budge and i'm thinking about it now and i'm like you know what this doesn't it's too good to be true you know so um i'm like i'm sorry well i have to go and i go bye and i hang up and then he called me back my dad came in and he said please sir please stop calling my daughter and then he goes okay and he just kept trying to talk in my dad's ear and all this stuff that he, like he knows we're not going to do it and he just kept trying to convince us convince us and that we're, they're going to lose their money he's going to lose his job and all this stuff so he hangs up and doesn't call back goodness like i'm so sad but like i'm so happy that i have my laptop but like we have to pay it off and uh like it's just so aggravating i'm so so sorry my parents will never know if it was real or not like we will never know almost everyone i've told it to has said something has ha similar happened to them or their family moral of the story just save up your money because you're worth it you know splurge on yourself a little bit um, be careful of scammers. Just be careful. This is gonna be on our mind for a long time We just lost $700 and it's my fault so now at the part of the video where I'm gonna be unboxing the laptop And if you've made it this far if you've been this intrigued or if you're just an OG or both You know go ahead and comment the money emoji with the wings and a heart because you know that money's out the door Just show me some love with that heart. This is gonna be something that I grow up with I'm just so thankful for and it's been three days guys this is the macbook pro 15 inch 2018 touch bar laptop okay um it's gorgeous i have to be so careful with it i know i should have the 13 but but the 15 has a better processor and i got the 16 gigabytes i haven't even taken off the plastic part so we're just gonna get on into this so i'm gonna be using this little tack yellow because we're rocking with the trying to stay positive vibes and get those edges right there for the plastic. This is so amazing. Wow, 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 wow. This is, this is crazy. Like, literally just looking at the box, I already think it's beautiful. I'm just gonna use my knee. If you watch Dexter, um, you get that. I love Dexter, it was great, great series. Gosh, it's so nice. Wow, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, that, that's the end of the video. Thanks. Subscribe. No, I'm playing. Okay, goodness. Oh, I haven't even looked at it. Wow, I haven't even...
Oh wow, whoa, whoa, wow, the space gray. Ah! She's coming out the box. She's coming to party. We've got the charger part. Then have probably the stickers and some instructions. Oh no, stickers? Oh, that's some stickers. I love oh, sorry, false alarm. Here's the charger box. Nothing in here. On to the laptop. Just a cute little neat shot, you know. Needless to say. Oh my gosh, my hands are touching it. I don't even want my hands to touch it. Oh girl, she's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Even though it's iconic, I do kind of miss glowing apple, but iconic. We're, we're in the future now. You want to see me open it with you guys? <laughs> Bet it doesn't even open. Best Buy scammed me. No, but <laughs> this MacBook, when you open it up, it turns on automatically and it also has a power button. Let's see if it works. Nope. Okay. Um. Oh. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're loading. I'm gonna move. Girl, she is so gorgeous. She is so gorgeous. Before I continue to put more information in my laptop. Wow, that sounds great to say. We have new speakers here. The touchpad is as big as my hand. Some people don't like the keys because they sound like that. And they glow. And the touch bar, you can like custom it and all. And there's also a lock for like a finger lock. These are the ports. That's two more charging ports on this side. Got retina display. It's so beautiful, so crisp, gorgeous. Colors working on it. I'm just so happy. Guess there's a webcam. The little things on the bottom that you help it like go like that. I don't know, I just thought I would show you that. <laughs> There's the retina display. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. Here's the mouse. Ooh. But guys, I'm just so thankful for this laptop and I know we're gonna have to pay it off by $700 that we're not gonna be able to spend on it, but it's okay. We'll get through this. So I took a picture with Amber. So here's this picture. So, you know, go ahead and follow her. Like I said, show her some love. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's also the link below. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can see all the new content that I'm going to be having. You know, I do music, I do vlogs, I'm going to do challenges, I'm going to do hauls, all types of videos, makeup videos, and even at some point I might do a couple gaming videos. I want to do cooking. There's so much that I want to do. There's so much that I can do. There's so much that I will bring to the table. So be ready. But like I said, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. It really means so much to me. Also, I hope you had a good day today. And if you didn't, make the best of it for tomorrow. But when in doubt, just remember, stay creative. We've been going hard for too long. Can't get enough what it's you on.